as our next step in this example, we're going to basically place a Revit curve, and we're going to create that Revit curve just by joining curve by points by reference points. So we're going to create a curve by points, and then we're going to just basically pull together some reference points to make that happen. So if we come back over here to Dynamo, let's take a look. We see our reference points over there in the Revit window that have been created in Dynamo. Let's just pan on over here. What we're going to do is basically create a Revit curve. We're going to do that by just putting together a list of the reference points. So list create will get us started. Okay, now I should have a list of three points. Just look at that for you. Very good. And now we're going to create a curve by points from the reference points. So I can just pull those points in. And what this is going to actually do is create a Revit curve. Okay, so that's like a model line curve. Now with that curve, we could do all sorts of different things we want to keep on going. We can, for example, if we'd like to extract the curve geometry back into Dynamo, we can say curve element for that curve. Then we can think about, oh, maybe dividing that curve by using the curve point at parameter, maybe place some elements on that curve. But the essence of it is start with creating the reference points, then create a curve, a reference curve between those different points. And that's the basis for how we can actually start creating some very interesting Revit family objects.